you guys, welcome to Freedom in a Budget. It is collab time and cook with me time. I love these cook with me. They are so much fun. They're a little bit of work to film, but they're so worth it. So Chit Chat Paywack invited me to do this collab and a bunch of other awesome YouTubers. And so go check them all out. They'll be linked down below in the description box. But the purpose of this collab is for picky eaters and the meals and foods that'll feed the whole family. So some of you have kids, some of you don't. I don't have kids, but I do have a picky husband. And sometimes it's hard to plan meals that both of us will like. So many times I end up cooking twice because he doesn't want what I want, what he's having isn't points friendly, and so I just have eggs or I just have another Weight Watchers friendly meal. So it's kind of hard to sometimes plan those meals that we both like. So that's what this collab is, and we are making a two ingredient pizza dough. So you guys know about the two ingredient pizza dough, it's amazing, it's so good. So for those of you who have, haven't made it, I'm gonna cook with you and we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it into barbecue chicken pizza. Guys, this is one of my favorite recipes. I absolutely love this pizza. Jamie's never had it, so we're gonna see how he likes it. I'm a little nervous, a little nervous, but I think it'll be really good and you will enjoy it. So, let's get cooking. Here's everything you're gonna need for barbecue chicken pizza. So we have the Trader Joe's light mozzarella cheese. This is one point per ounce and then after four, it goes up to five points total. I'm going to wait and tell you the point at the end because sometimes you need a little bit more, sometimes you use a little less. So um, I think I'm going to start with four ounces and I can always add more. And my food scale here here with a bowl, that's how I'm going to measure the cheese. Um, Non-fat Greek yogurt, this is going to be the base with the gold metal self-rising flour. And then I'm going to start with one and a half cups, we'll see. Then the G. Hughes hickory sugar-free um, barbecue sauce. This stuff is really, really good. Here is my banking pan. It's a pizza pan. I love this thing. I have a mixing bowl, a um, rubber spatula, and my rolling pin. This I love. I'll have this links down below as well, as, well as these um, um, cutting pads. Um, and they are awesome. And this you can change out the rings to give you the thickness for like a quarter inch. It's really cool. So I love it. I'm not going to use the rings, but I just wanted to show you guys. I prefer it without it. Um, I've tried, but it's just easier with when the dough on one side is bigger than this and you're not cutting into it. So let's get cooking. Here's the dough. It is just one, um, one and a half cups of self-rising flour, one and a half cups of Greek yogurt, equal parts. I am doing a larger pizza, so that is why it is so much, but typically you would just do one cup of each or three quarters of a cup. But like I said, we are doing a large pizza tonight. This is what the dough looks like after it is all rolled out. It is a really good size. I'm excited for this. So I always have a um, measuring cup of flour off to the side in case you have to reflour anything. I have gotten it stuck to the bottom of my cook or my cutting boards before. I can't forget the name of these. So you really don't want that to happen. You want to make sure that everything is well floured because that is not fun to have to peel off. rolling out really nicely. You can do it as thin or as thick as you want. We're gonna pre-bake the pizza before we get it ready to go. This is what it looks like on the pizza pan. Sometimes, like I said, it just takes the bottom. Sometimes you kind of have to take it in pieces and it breaks as you're trying to transfer it from the, cook, from the cutting board to the pizza pan. But you just piece it back together and it's all okay. I'm not much of a crust person, so I didn't make too much of a crust, just a little bit. So I'm going to pre-bake this in the oven now at 375 for like five or 10 minutes. I'm gonna watch it really carefully. This is what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. It is nice golden brown. When you touch it, it's kind of like a little crispy on the top. And all right, so let's top of this bad boy. We've got our G Hughes barbecue sauce. They have, I think, three different flavors. I am using the hickory. I don't like a ton of barbecue sauce on my pizza. I like a lot. If I'm having regular red sauce pizza, I like a ton. But barbecue, I really don't. I don't know what it is. So I'm going to start with one tablespoon. You can have two tablespoons for zero points. 
and then three or more goes up to two, one point. So I like this very, very thin. That was one, now we're gonna do the two. And that took about 10 minutes for it to bake. I cleaned up the kitchen, did the dishes, just did a couple little things around while I waited for it to pre-bake. This smells so good, guys. And it makes a really nice, thick crust. It's very thick dough, which I love. Good. We'll go to the side. Now we have just some chicken. This I cooked in the Instapot with some barbecue sauce with the G Hughes the other day, and I just shredded some chicken just to throw on. You can do this. You can do sometimes I do air fryer Parmesan chicken, like the breaded chicken. That is so good. But this one I just want to keep low in points for lunch. Do as much or as little as you like. Okay. Now here is the good stuff. This is just the Trader Joe's light mozzarella cheese. I like my pizza really, really cheesy. So this is four ounces worth of cheese, which is five points for this. And again, I'm gonna give you the point total at the end once I calculate it all. And this stuff melts so well. I know the fat-free cheese, like the Kraft fat-free, doesn't melt very well, but this stuff melts really, really well. I may even add a little bit more. Should we do more, guys? I think we should. Why not? I, this isn't cheesy enough for me. All right, so my kitchen scale. Come on, do your right dough. I'm gonna do another ounce. 0. 0.7. 1.0, that's how it's done. All right, so now we're looking at five ounces of cheese. Oh yeah, this is much better. All right, we're gonna pop this oven and see how it looks. Look at this, still piping hot from the oven. This is what it looks like coming straight out of the oven. So you pretty much just wanna cook it five or so minutes, just enough for the cheese to melt and the chicken to get warm, which, yeah, that's hot. This is gonna be so good. All right, I'm gonna let this rest for like five to 10 minutes, and then we're gonna cut into it and see how it is. I'm excited. It's been about five minutes now. Pizza is nice and cool to the touch. So I'm gonna cut this into eight pieces because you have to trick your mind into thinking smaller pieces gives you more food, right? Two. So a quarter of this pizza is six points, which is awesome. One piece. Ooh, pizza. Excuse me, hey, hey, hey. Jamie, excuse me, no, no, Jamie, what? Excuse me, no, no, what are you doing? Good pizza. Babe, that's mine. It's good pizza, thanks babe. Does it, does it taste like, like Weight Watchers from the pizza? Yeah, there, there's lots of protein in there, we got some Greek yogurt in there, 
Got some, oh, Skylar wants some. We got some sugar-free. Yeah, still good, isn't it? Yeah, you eat, you eat the pizza you stole from me. <laughs> See, it's husband approved. Holy cow, guys, that was so good. Jamie finished the pizza, or his serving of the pizza, and now he's watching movies, so I'm hiding in the office. So the pizza, when I put it in the recipe builder, it turned out to be six points for one fourth of the pizza, which is really good. And it was just so delicious. I really enjoyed it. To me, it was just as good as restaurant pizza. I know that with restaurant pizza, it's hard to get that thick crust that's low in points. A lot of times when you get the thin crust, it's less points, but I'm, I'm not big on thin crust pizza. It's just not as good to me. So it was really, really good. I loved it and I can't wait to have leftovers. So thank you so much for watching. If you are coming over from the collab, welcome. I hope that you subscribe and stick around. And if you haven't already, go check out all the other channels down below in the description box. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Bye.